He was long internationally wanted before he could be apprehended in Spain. The then 29-year-old man from Malmo was called El Patron. His real name is Salam Shabani. And he had for several years been a major player in the underworld as a large-scale distributor of narcotics. The then 25-year-old rapper from Malmo, the eldest brother of several, appeared in hip-hop videos wearing expensive jewelry, dressed in stylish branded clothes, and rapped about what the gangster life gave him. Expensive clothes, gold, luxury cars, and about girls attracted to his lifestyle. El Patron and the rapper's lives would eventually intertwine because of a man they both knew who had the nickname The Sheep, a nickname he got because of his hair. El Patron had a long-standing feud with The Sheep, a possible motive for this dates back to 2014 when The Sheep had a relationship with a woman. The relationship ended, and the woman met El Patron at some point. A written exchange could be secured from 2014 between The Sheep and El Patron in the text, you could see that a verbal dispute arises. Shortly after the written exchange between El Patron and the Sheep, the Sheep was seriously stabbed in the Malmo neighborhood of Rosengard. Initially, the Sheep said that one of the perpetrators was a person he had a conflict with. In the next interrogation, he changed his mind and did not want to cooperate anymore. There are reports in the investigation that say the Sheep received 10,000 euro not to participate in the police investigation. Blackberry messages related to the stabbing could be found. No person could be charged for the act, and the case was closed. January 12, 2017 Police responded at 1850 to a street in the infamous Rosengard area in Malmo on Thursday evening after a suspected shooting. A person who called police reported a shooting at a bus stop. At the bus stop, when the police and ambulance arrived, a 16-year-old boy was found dead on the ground. He had been shot multiple times, including in the head and face. But, the person who was first on the scene with the deceased 16-year-old and started life-saving efforts quickly contacted the police, as he believed he was the intended target. In addition to having the same name, he was wearing a jacket similar to Ahmed's, dark with a fur-lined hood. 16-year-old Ahmed is completely innocent and has been mistaken for the sheep and become a victim of a mistaken identity homicide, a pure execution as he was standing waiting for the bus on his way to the gym. It is the sheep who has been lured to the scene by an old friend for an assassination to be carried out. The old friend that was used as bait belongs to a trio of brothers, all deeply involved in Sweden's and the Malmo underworld. The trio of hitmen brothers have all been linked to several of the most shocking acts of violence in the last 10 years. One of the brothers drove over 100 kilometers per hour in the middle of Malmo City and crashed and injured two women and a child in a stroller who were seriously and permanently injured. March 4, 2017 On Saturday evening, there were several reports of a shooting on Kronotorpsgaten in Malmo at 10.13 p.m. At least five shots were fired at a car, and the 23-year-old driver is said to have been shot, then crashed into another car at the scene. Shortly afterward, another man, aged 22, was found shot in an apartment a short distance from the crime scene. The 22-year-old man was also taken to the hospital with serious injuries. Both victims were in the car that was standing still when the shooting started. The 23-year-old tried to drive away but crashed and died from his injuries, and the other 22-year-old man was hit and then made his way into the apartment he was later found. It is the rapper's 23-year-old younger brother who is shot and killed, and his 22-year-old friend is injured but survives. According to some sources, the younger brother was driving his brother, the rapper's car, and therefore, there were speculations that the rapper was the actual target of the shooting. Two men were seen leaving the scene on a bicycle. It is none other than Amir Meki, the leader of a gang called the Swedes in Spanish, and another high-ranking member of the gang who were arrested on suspicion of this murder but later released. A few weeks later, days before the rapper's younger brother is to be buried, he receives a question from his best friend. The best friend complains about being broke and mentions knowing someone who has one of the rapper's acquaintances on his hit list. The rapper is friends or acquaintance to the sheep. The rapper is asked to line up the sheep to be killed. The rapper could lure him to a local school or somewhere and walk him right into a death trap. The payment to the rapper would consist of, among other things, three weapons and two bulletproof vests as payment for the sheep's life, which, according to the rapper, had not harmed him or done him anything wrong in any way. 
The rapper later tells the police during his interrogation, ensuring that he thought it would be wrong and declined the offer. Saying if he were to kill anyone, it would be the man who killed his brother. The rapper did not want to participate in the murder plans, but instead informed the sheep about what was going on. The rapper said he called the sheep and said, go. Pack your bag, get out of here, for at least a week. But the sheep said, no, I can handle this myself, I have weapons and so on. When the rapper's best friend finds out that he warned the sheep instead of helping to kill him, the atmosphere becomes tense. The circumstance that the rapper warned the sheep reaches the people that was after the sheep. It also later emerges that the plan for the murder command was for both the sheep and then the rapper to be killed after completing his part. The motive for the rapper's death remains unclear. March 29, 2017 in the morning, the 26-year-old best friend accompanies the rapper to a ceremony before the younger brother's funeral. During the funeral day, as the rapper prepares to mourn and bury his younger brother, the best friend says he is disappointed in him. In the evening, the best friend picks up the rapper, who is wearing a bulletproof vest, to drive him home. Before that, he just needs to swing into a residential area to sell drugs to a customer. The friend is unusually quiet, and the rapper senses that something is going on. I thought it can't be true that he wants to kill me. He is my only friend, honestly. I trusted him. The best friend gets out of the car, which is now parked on the street. The rapper looks in the rearview mirror, sees his best friend go around the corner, and realizes it's a trap. He jumps over to the driver's seat to be ready. The first shot comes through the rear window. He looks back and sees a man in a mask and a black cap with an automatic weapon continuing to shoot at him. He is trapped in the car, he meets the shooter's gaze, and has time to think that his eyes look sad. When a police patrol arrived at the crime scene shortly after the shooting, the rapper was bleeding heavily in the car. At least seven shots were fired at the rapper, and he was hit by bullets in the jaw, arm, left shoulder, and abdomen. He is seriously injured but survives the murder attempt because of his bulletproof vest. So, the 25-year-old rapper has been lured into a death trap by his closest and best friend. The 26-year-old is later also charged and convicted of aiding attempted murder on his best friend, sentenced to 10 years in prison in court. According to the indictment, there were two shooters. However, the police have never managed to arrest anyone suspected of the actual attempted murder. March 30th, 2017. Reports of suspected gunfire on a street in Rosengard come in at 7.07 .07 p.m., and soon after, the police are on the scene, getting indications that a person has been injured and taken to the hospital by private car. Several perpetrators opened fire and then fled together on a moped, which was set on fire after the deed. A witness heard six to seven shots and saw other people running and fetching a car. They drove up with a car, loaded the victim into the car, and then drove away. At 7.06 p.m., the first shooter walked from the building where the camera was placed. The shooter was dressed in black. He wore a black full-face helmet. The person carried a black submachine gun, which he had behind his right leg. Behind him came another person. The person wore black clothes with white stripes on the pants and wore a white helmet. The first shooter went to the right of the garbage can and fired the first shot at the sheep. The sheep grabbed his right buttock and threw himself down to the left. The second shooter approached the sheep. The shooter pulled something out of his pocket and crouched. The sheep rolled onto his back, facing the second shooter. The first shooter left the scene running. The second shooter fired several shots at the sheep, who lifted his arms to protect himself and tried to roll away. The first shooter then stopped and observed the second shooter. Both shooters ran from the scene. The second shooter had a pistol in his right hand. The sheep's legs moved behind the garbage can. The second shooter then ran back and fired at least one more shot. Then the second shooter ran from the scene in the same direction as the first shooter had disappeared from view. It was in the same direction they had arrived. Both shooters were photographed as they left the crime scene. They had a moped parked in the courtyard at an entrance to the property. The shooter with the AK-47 and the black helmet sat down first on the moped, followed by the second shooter with the white helmet sitting behind. After the murder, the shooters rode away on the moped and then they set the moped on fire. It was Ahmad that took on the task of carrying out the murder of the sheep, and the planning went on for a long time. 
Ahmad was to receive 50,000 euros as compensation. The investigation also reveals that the sheep has been the target of several previous murder attempts. On one occasion, two men break into his apartment and the sheep hides in the bathroom, calling the police. The two men have a pistol and threaten the sheep's sister's ex-husband, who is also in the apartment. One says, shoot him, shoot him, the other says, it's not him, and the first one says, shoot him anyway. The two men leave the apartment without firing any shots. July 15, 2017 During the night, someone with an automatic weapon fires a large number of shots aimed at the rapper's mom's apartment in Rosengard. January 14, 2018 at 9.35 p.m. on Sunday evening, a shooting occurred and when the police arrived, a young man with gunshot injuries was found. He was hit by multiple shots in the head and body. The 21-year-old was shot when he stepped out of a taxi when two shooters approached. Shell casings from two different weapons were found at the crime scene. Many people are reported to have witnessed the incident. The victim was taken to the hospital by ambulance but died from his injuries. He was 21 years old and known by the nickname Dodo. He is the younger brother of the rapper. The rapper had already survived an assassination attempt after his little brother was killed. So, within 316 days, three brothers were shot, two fatally, and the third brother, the rapper, was seriously injured. February 2, 2018 Several people called about gunfire at 7.53 p.m. on Friday evening. Around 10 shots were fired. On site, a 30-year-old, known to the police from before, was found and taken by ambulance to Skane University Hospital, where he was declared dead. He was hit by five shots, including in the head and heart. Two suspected perpetrators were seen fleeing the scene. Later, two men were also arrested at an address nearby. Three men met on Dosen Gaten in Malmo. One of them, a 52-year-old, unaware that he was the target of a contract killing, and that the others were meeting him to lure him to the place where he would be murdered by two other people. The planned murder was ordered by El Patron, who knew the men meeting the target. But when the two hired killers arrived at the scene, they shot the wrong person, an accomplice to murder. The victim, a 30-year-old man who had been assigned the task of spying on the target, the 52-year-old man, for some time. He had been instructed by El Patron that day to lure the target so that he could be shot. But instead, the 30-year-old himself was hit by five shots and died on the spot. The other two men were not injured. After the killers fled the scene, one of them reportedly shouted, Damn, you shot the wrong person. The motive for the attack is that El Patron ordered the killing on Dosen Gaten after an extensive fraud where a Chinese company was deceived in October 2017 into paying millions to a company in Malmo. One of those who received money, 50,000 euro, was El Patron. The money went to his bank account in Dubai. El Patron, the murder planner, the 30-year-old murder victim and accomplice, and the actual target, the 52-year-old, were all involved in the fraud against the Chinese company. The involved parties suspected that someone leaked information about the case, so surveillance was initiated on the suspected person, and eventually, a murder was ordered on the 52-year-old. El Patron became a wanted man in October 2018, and he was subsequently arrested on Lucia Day in Barcelona. At that time, 29-year-old El Patron was charged with instigating murder, instigating attempted murder, and gross money laundering. El Patron, according to the prosecutor, had ordered the 30-year-old to instruct the third man to meet with the 52-year-old, who was to be shot. During the time when the 30-year-old carried out the order, El Patron contacted the two hired assassins who would carry out the murder. One of the identified shooters is Anise. Anise, who has since been sentenced to 35 years in prison in England, shot and killed Malmo resident Flamer Bakairai outside his home on Christmas Eve 2019 in the conflict between the Alliance and Amir Meki and his gang. The main evidence in the case against El Patron primarily consists of chats on an encrypted mobile, decrypted emails from a BlackBerry phone found in a car, and an alias that could be linked to El Patron. He has been linked to the alias that has sent and received several messages regarding the murder. After a trial in the District Court, the Court of Appeals, and finally the Supreme Court, El Patron is sentenced to life imprisonment for two counts of solicitation to murder, the murder of the sheep, and the 52-year-old.
He was also convicted of aggravated money laundering and other crimes. For the murder of the sheep, four people are eventually charged in the district court. Ahmad is convicted of murder and sentenced to 18 years in prison. The rapper's best friend, the 26-year-old, is also convicted of being an accessory to murder and receives a four-year prison sentence. He was already serving a longer sentence of 10 years for being an accessory to attempted murder of his best friend, the rapper, when the judgment was pronounced. Unfortunately, the Swedish city of Malmo has many similar tragic and horrific cases, including the case where two men had a price put on their heads, so they faked their own deaths with pictures and then pocketed the money for their deaths themselves.